This legitimately might be the biggest travel trailer I think I have ever seen in my life. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is my own independent company, and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. So if you wanna learn more about that, there will be a link down below in the description and comments of this video, as well as a box up in the corner of the screen here that you can click on to go to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel and see more of what is going on over there. Lots of fun and exciting stuff and a lot of stuff coming throughout 2024. So go check that out. Now this here is unreal, y'all. This is a Jayco Eagle and this floor plan, it is their 330 RSTS. TS stands for triple slide, so it has three slide outs on it. And this is a massive fifth, or not fifth wheel. Looks like a fifth wheel, but travel trailer RV. Um, I have the specs up here. You'll also see them on the screen. This thing unloaded is 10,665 pounds. That is unreal. And then you're going to have a 1,585 pound cargo carrying capacity, getting this to a gross weight of 12,250 pounds. This is a monster of a travel trailer. I don't even know, gosh, it's hard to even say that I would recommend a three quarter ton for a travel trailer this size because this thing is so massive. I'd feel much more safe saying get a one ton to tow something this big. But this is going to be a great option for people looking for either an extended travel option or a full-time RVing option where they don't want steps going up and down into a bedroom or living room area as it will be flat all the way across with about a seven foot tall ceiling in there. And this shower in this travel trailer, man, I cannot wait to show y'all. We're gonna come back outside and take a look at some of the stuff outside. Cause I know a lot of y'all have been saying you wanna see the inside first. So let's just see if we start showing you the inside first, if more people start watching these videos. Again, this is the Eagle 330 RSTS. You have your outdoor speakers here at ear level when you're sitting down, which is nice. This also has warranty for full time RVing. And then as we go inside, the only thing I was a little bummed about is some of the lights are not on in here. Now, right when you walk in, you can see, I want to see 40 feet, one inch long. I don't think I've looked at another travel trailer aside from maybe a destination trailer, which is a different thing that is 40 feet long. You also have a spot here that you could put a camera for a security camera as well. And it does not have a shade installed on the window, but you can get one installed. Um, solid step, it is a strut assisted solid step as well. So it'll be weight assisted coming in and out. And this is a island kitchen floor plan layout here in the living area. Now, if this does not excite you, do not exit out of this video because you have to see the bathroom in here. The bathroom in here is pretty unbelievable and it also has an unbelievable bedroom. This thing is really well equipped all the way around to live in full time. So as we walk around, you can see no carpet in the slide out, it has that same matched flooring material for your slide out. They do have the extension on the table out, so that kind of eats into the space a little bit more, but that will go down and it has this, you know, pedestal style table here with your two chairs. On these chairs here, let's see if it has storage down underneath them. It does have storage underneath there. Um, you can see some of your features on the Jayco Eagle. You have a 15,000 BTU AC, two ACs on here as well. Um, looks like plywood flooring, vacuum bonded sidewalls, um, generator and battery tray up front. We'll take a look at that when we go back outside. Goodyear tires, Dexter axles, lots of different neat stuff on here. As we go around this way, let me pull up the tank measurements as well because that is another thing. It has an 81 gallon fresh tank. Now, I don't know if there's another travel trailer out there that will have larger than an 81 gallon fresh tank unless maybe it's some sort of like overlanding style rig but in a standard travel trailer 81 gallons is a lot also has a 111 gallon gray water capacity and a 37 gallon black water capacity so pretty dang good on all those specs there two recliners directly across from your tv lots of floor space in this area also comes with these two tables that essentially go into the cup holder like so and these are a pull string recliner. So you'll have those tables there, recliners will go back. You have your windows all along the campsite and a more of like a traditional style light 
here above this dining table. Not my favorite looking light fixture ever, but you let me know your thoughts and what you think. It does have more of a warm light tone in here for sure, which feels nice on the eyes and is, you know, more of a cozy feeling inside of here. Wood framed windows, so it has more of an elegant look with that. And then you have these um, spots right here where you can pull down your pull down blackout shades, making that easier for you as well. Sofa along the back, this is going to also make into about a queen size bed there. Nice big window along the back wall. And then some of these lights aren't on, so we aren't getting like the full lighting effect. But you have storage up through here and storage up through here. So I pull back, you have your side tables here. It does have outlets and USB ports on both sides of this sofa. So you can see that over there as well. And again, this will pull out and make into a bed when you need it. And this is a really large space. You can see here, even from your furthest right recliner, the island does not get in the way of what looks to be about a 48 to 50 inch screen TV. Over here, you do have like the toe knocker style slide out on your kitchen slide. Um, not the worst thing ever though, is it doesn't really have sharp corners or anything to stub your toe on. And nowhere where it really would be in your way that I, I think, but you can let me know what you think. You have a JBL sound system here. Nice thing about this sound system, this does have a mid-range and a tweeter speaker in it. So a mid-range and a high-range speaker, which just gives it a little bit more clarity to the sound. You have your electric fireplace, which will also be an electric heat source for you. And then is there storage behind the TV? There is. I don't know how this comes out exactly. There we go. Okay, yeah, it's just on a swivel mount. So you do have storage back behind there as well pretty good amount storage up above the TV and then you have oh okay so it gives you a doorknob but it's not actually a doorknob and you have adjustable shelving in here and a magnet latch that catches that it does say pull to open oh and this says a liquid chalkboard so it looks like you can actually write on this with like a dry erase marker maybe or something along those lines then you have your island kitchen solid surface countertops in here See what your island looks like. It also has a soap dispenser here in the island. And again, ceiling height in here has got to be at least seven feet. You have a vent fan over this area. You have speakers in the ceiling as part of that JBL sound system here as well. And then you have dual ducted ACs. So you can see the ducting going along. Let me look straight up. See how you have a vent on this side and a vent on this side. That means there's dual ducting going throughout here and you have your return ACs or returns for the AC here, which means this is a whisper quiet AC system. The AC is actually up in the attic so you don't hear it nearly as much and it is extremely quiet. Outlet here on the island. Then your stove here, you can see it's pushed to the right so it's not centered. So you have your countertop space to the left and it's pushed to the right wall there. You can let me know your thoughts on that as well and what you think if that's something workable for you or if that's just a no-go. Open this up and here we go. We're seeing some quality defects where it looks like they tried to wrap this to be white underneath here. And you can see how it is just peeling back. Unfortunate to see that. Ooh, and it is happening in every drawer. They are soft closed drawers. That's what it's supposed to look like. But as you can see, it's just a wrapped base and that wrap can come undone. So they will have to fix that and address that. You have a fake tile backsplash light here up underneath there. Outlet up here as well and then some ceiling light controls there. Storage up through here. This is a residential size microwave and it's just a standard microwave. Three burner Furion stove and Furion oven. It's gonna be a little bit larger oven than your standard travel trailer size oven, but not the biggest ever. And then storage space down underneath here. And again, you can see some of the defects in that wrap on the base kind of peeling there, which is just so unfortunate to see. Down underneath here, kind of, uh, okay, oh, interesting. Okay, sorry, I said that's a soap dispenser, my bad. That was incorrect, I should have known better. You have a trash can down here and then you have a water jug here that will run up to that dispenser there so you have drinkable water. Now, the nice thing about that and why they do that is a lot of people, is you have a split stainless steel sink. Sorry, I get sidetracked sometimes. <laughs> a lot of people, and most brands don't have something like that. In fact, Jayco is one of the only brands that I have seen that does some sort of water source at the sink for drinkable water. Um, obviously, some RVs will also have water in the fridge. But most people, if they are boondock camping or dry camping or any sort of camping without a on-site water source, their only water source is either 
gallons of water that they have outside of the RV that they may keep in the truck or their freshwater tank inside the RV. Now, the little concerning thing about a freshwater tank in an RV is, you know, it is a rectangular tank and you never really know if it fully drained out or not. So over time, there is a potential for that freshwater tank to have moisture build up in it. It could possibly get a little dirty in there. Obviously they make chemicals and stuff like that to try to clean out these tanks and keep them fresh. But over the lifespan of an RV, you just don't ever get to really get down into that fresh tank and look at it to see what quality the tank is in, to know how fresh your water is. So that is why they give you this water spout here with that water jug underneath the island. As you go this way, you have a pretty interesting looking refrigerator because it's not a 12 volt refrigerator like most travel trailers have. This is actually a gas and electric refrigerator. One of the few RVs that will still have this in 2024. And I don't know if they'll have an option for something other than this, but this is gonna be a propane and electric refrigerator and freezer. JBL speaker up above this area as well. And no vent fan over this area as far as like in the ceiling. You do have a spot for a Wi-Fi router up there. But it does look like it's going to have a vent fan here over the microwave. Um, last couple things in this space. Pull out drawer here in the island. Soft close on that. And then a little shallow storage space there. Pop-up USB port with outlets and a USB type C connection on there. You have a nice little kind of coffee bar area here, light that won't turn on right now for whatever reason, outlets and USB ports there. And then a drawer that opens up, soft close and storage underneath here. Lots of storage in this kitchen space overall. I mean, lots and lots of storage. This could be a coat closet or a pantry, whatever you choose as that shelf is removable. And then storage up through there and storage up through here. Now they have some literature right here that just says a Helix Whisper Quiet Cooling System. Okay, we already kind of talked about that. You get this clock that comes here as well. And then you have your touchscreen control panel right here. And check this out. This here is so dang cool to me. I don't know why the lights won't come on in this area, but look at this bathroom, y'all. Coat spot right, or not coat, sorry. A towel rod right there. And you have a spot for uh, toilet paper, porcelain foot flush toilet angled off and look at this shower. This shower is absolutely huge. I think this is the biggest shower I have ever seen in a travel trailer RV. The camera is certainly not doing it justice. It is wall to wall in here. And even with the bench in there, I mean, you could fit three grown adults my size, six to 180 pounds, shoulder to shoulder in this standing space there. That's how big this is. The ceiling height is phenomenal. I mean, as I look up, you could be six, seven, probably at least and fit in here. Plus you have the skylight back here. You could be over seven feet with the skylight right there. Wish they would have mounted the shower head higher. I don't know why they do that. They could have easily put it up higher. And with where it's sitting, I mean, this camera's eye level, I mean, I'd have to duck a considerable amount to get under that. I guess they keep it at the same level as this, but I don't know. I would have been fine with it sitting up higher or having the option to sit up higher, at least give it an adjustable shower head. So I don't know why they didn't do that with such a nice shower. But huge space in here and you have the seat in there. So really, really nice. It's like a fake tile shower wall. Feels pretty solid. And you do have like a mood light up here in the ceiling as well. You have your vent fan up in this space and then you have a nice huge countertop area in here as well. So lots of countertop space. A pretty small sink, honestly, but not terrible. And then you have a mirror here storage back behind there. Wow, this actually is blue. Can y'all see that? I did not expect that, but that is blue in this bathroom. Good thing I have a light on my setup here so you can see that. I actually am not gonna lie, I don't like that. I'm not really a fan of this blue. Y'all let me know what you think. Maybe it's, I wish I had the lights on so I could really see it, but I don't know. I just feel like the blue looks kind of cheap. Like you need a really good, solid wood material with blue on it for it to look nice. And I just think this looks kind of cheap to me. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think though. Another spot to hang towels here, towel rod, tankless on-demand water heater controls there and outlet underneath here. And again, porcelain foot flush toilet. 
Let's some natural light in here. Let's see. I mean, the blue is not terrible. It just doesn't feel like it fits. There's not blue anywhere else in this travel trailer that I've seen. So that's, I don't know, just interesting. Interesting is the only word I have for that. Going back into the bedroom, huge east to west facing king size bed in the bedroom. Love this space. I mean, this is phenomenal for full-time RVing. And again, the advantage to a travel trailer like this, no steps coming into the bedroom. So you don't have to go up or down any steps inside of your RV. You can see you have storage up above the bed as well. Windows on both sides with pull down blackout shades across from your TV or across from your bed. Sorry, you have your TV with a window there and you do have some drawers that will pull out here. So you can see that drawer there. Those will all be the same size drawers underneath your bed. You're going to have storage underneath there, a couple extra chairs for the dining area and it is a strut assisted bed there. Coming to your closet. Washer and dryer is not already installed, but it can be added into here. Nice clothing rods. And I guess I should check everything before I say that, but now it looks like I can confirm that. More clothing storage, pull out drawer. Wow, that goes really far back. Some shelving back through there and a clothing rod in here. Two mirrors and more storage back through here. This is where dryer can go. So dryer can go on one side, washer can go on the other. Storage space up there. And that's pretty much it. Outlet on this side of the bed right underneath here and outlet on this side of the bed underneath there. Not a whole lot of or really almost any bedside tabletop space, unfortunately. But that is kind of the nature of the beast with a king size bed in a travel trailer. So that is everything on the inside of this Jayco Eagle. Let me know what you think. Oh, here's also power controls for your security camera on the front door. But let me know what you think about this space in here. Um, I wonder what's behind this panel there. Does that mean, oh, it's to access your, your shower controls right there, your, your water lines, makes sense. So let me know what you think. Sorry, I'll just get sidetracked, y'all. <laughs> but let me know what you think about the inside. If you could see yourself traveling or living in this thing full time, and then let's go outside and take a look at the outside. Let me grab my sunglasses, because it is bright outside. And as we come outside, really, really impressive on the outside. You have two awnings out here. Love that the arms on the awnings are white to match the sidewall. And then you have a black awning fabric. Almost the entire length of your travel trailer will have awning coverage. And then up front, two 30 pound propane bottles. So better than the 20 pound propane bottles that a lot of travel trailers come with. Spot for batteries. And this does have a big enough space for a generator up here as well. So kind of a spot where you could secure in a generator. Although it doesn't look like there's any like wiring for a generator unless, I don't know what this plug may be. I don't know if it's already prepped to add a generator. So I can't say for sure, but if you do know for sure, let me know down below in the comments. I just don't want to give any incorrect information. Down underneath here, fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly and it should have 12 volt heat pads on the water tanks as well. I can't imagine that it would not. It's gonna have auto leveling with six stabilizer jacks along this travel trailer. So four in front of the axles, two behind the axles. And then it has prep to add side cameras as well on the side here. Slam latch baggage doors. As you open that up, you have a spray port here for a campsite water source. Really big storage compartment, sits at a nice level here as well. This is sitting at about in my midsection, so very easy. Don't even have to bend over to get into this space with this sitting level. You have a motion activated light, USB ports in here. Looks like an inverter right there as well. It's an 1800 watt inverter and then pass through storage compartment. Also has, you can see the foil insulation here. This is an actual Astro foil insulation here below your sub flooring. So love to see that too. One of the few travel trailers doing that. And then you have aluminum framing with welds on both sides of your frame connections. Battery disconnect switch in there and magnet latches to hold your storage door open. Again, JBL speaker here, uh, outlet and a spot to plug in a TV there if you wanna do like a cable TV. And then this has a pretty big wheel down underneath here. This is a Goodyear Endurance tire and it has a 235-85R16 tire on there. More ride CRE 3000 suspension system. So an upgraded suspension and you have a rack and pinion style slide out here on your campsite. Come along this way. 
It does have this J port on here. This is going to allow for a beam to go into here that would hold a grill or griddle on it. That's why there's a propane quick connect line down underneath here. So you can connect that into there. Um, you can see all the safety markers on this travel trailer with this J smart system. And as you come to the back, you have a spot for a backup camera. It does have reverse lights built into the brake light, which is nice. And it does have a receiver hitch on the back. It's not rated for towing, but it is gonna be rated for accessories if you wanna do coolers off the back, bike racks, kayak racks, or something like a generator rack. Two slide outs on this side. Not too much to talk about over here, honestly. So we're just gonna move along this way, especially since there was music playing over there. You can see you have a Furion tankless on-demand water heater, 50 amp power connection, and looks like all your water tanks drain at this one central spot right there with a spot to store your sewer hose down underneath here in front of the axle. Um, only cable driven slide is on your kitchen slide out here. So you have a cable driven slide there and then a rack and pinion style slide for the bedroom with access to storage down underneath this area here. So you can get down into this storage space. It doesn't go all the way through to the end of the bed. It's its own split storage section. Access to the pass-through storage here. This is also gonna be water connections through here, I'm sure. So as we open this up, yeah, you have a Nautilus water management system, outdoor shower, and a light in there with another plug to add more solar if you wanna do solar on the ground as well. And that is pretty much everything on this Jayco Eagle, y'all. So let me know what you think. Again, this is the biggest travel trailer I have ever seen. So I'm very curious your thoughts and if you feel like this is a practical travel trailer model, something you would be interested in or something that you just think is cool overall. And if you'd like to see more travel trailers in this size range. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on bound.